Um, we felt the need to uh, come here today because the budget meeting is taking place where highly paid management have written proposals to cut away the lowest paid workers' pay once again. They've already been through this the previous year, but management's salary is never looked at. That's never cut. You have consultants coming in also looking at the low paid workers and cutting their pay and it's time to stand up and fight. Um, protesting against uh, my husband's wage packet as he'll be lo if he loses £2,000 that's a lot of money when you've got kids they haven't had a pay rise in like four years it's going to be devastating. Uh, just to show our support with the GMB that they can't just take our money away without a pay rise for four years and they're offering one percent another management around an 8 or 9 percent pay rise and they want it kept for another four years so they will be losing over two thousand pound while they're going to be offering like the sales money and they're not rejecting it and we've got a wife and child to feed as well and it's hard enough now so imagine the impact if they take that two thousand it's devastating but with the support of GMB today hopefully we can get that dealt with and they're not going to lose it <coughs> And shoulder to shoulder with you colleagues in the fact that they're going to fight Labour controlled councils who are putting in condemned policies. It's a disgrace. And this is a good turnout today. They're trying to take the pre start away from the guys um, who drive the vehicles. Ultimately, this will have an effect on residents in the borough because they take the pre start away. That gives less time for the guys to be out on the street cleaning the parks, cleaning the roads. So the council taxpayers of this borough will be the ones ultimately that, that are paying the price as well as the guys. Um, we don't want any more members of staff having to go to food banks, which is ultimately what could happen. We don't understand how a Labour Council um, will sanction what the proposals that are being put forward today. Uh, I'm Sam Terry, a local councillor for Chadwell Heath in uh, Barking and Dagnam. Um, and we've been here today at Barking Town Hall uh, campaigning, uh, really I think one of the first uh, skirmishes really, against a new administration who are intent on attacking frontline services while increasing management uh, at the council, appointing directors on six-figure salaries and at the same time some of our local staff, people that live and spend their money in the borough that recycles into the local economy are facing up to £8,000 of cuts to their wages and over 400 people are now so far may possibly lose their jobs and this for us is really I think going to be a straw that breaks the camel's back. There are going to be an awful lot of councillors that are going to find it very very difficult to support these kind of measures, to support these kind of cuts. You know, implementing austerity on those people that are from long-standing working class communities in Barking and Dagenham, who's been on the thick end of neoliberalism for far too long, is basically completely unacceptable. And so I think today's turnout, nearly 200 people from the GMB, from Unite and other uh, local people coming to add their support, is going to be the first show of strength. And I think, you know, the reality is that we are going to have to have a serious rethink in terms of the direction the council's taking and the already stumbling and incompetent leadership of the council.